Let's get started on our first unit project. This week, I want you to create a simple advertisement design for a given company. Now, I like to start off with these kinds of projects just for me to get an idea of what kind of designer you are. By now, since you're on the graduate level, you've probably had some good practice creating and making your own graphic designs. But everybody has a different background. You may have a good experience creating digital ads, but not enough with creating print. You might have worked in one particular software while you need some extra training in other software. So this particular ad is meant to ease us into creating a variety of different projects and also working with a variety of different techniques. So be patient with what I'm looking for because I want to see what kind of designer you are. Give me the best work that you can. Let me show you how I've broken this project down. First off, this will give you just a brief overview of what we're going to be creating for each unit. Under the review tab, I'm giving and talking about a variety of different techniques that I want to see you use in your design. So these are techniques like how to isolate an image. If I was to give you a picture, how could you cut it out and use it within your design? Also things like selecting fonts and using fonts in your design or picking colors and how to pick colors. So these are meant to cover some of the fundamentals that you may need a good refresher on, but I want to see how well you use these fundamentals within your overall project. Finally, I like to sometimes give a little critique of different advertisements just to show you what I look for and what, how I would set up an advertisement if it was given to me. Usually I'll try to find something that doesn't look good and then I'll rework it or I'll show you how I would make, it, make improvements to make it a, a better final product. Let's have a look at the Ad Campaign Project PDF. When you download it, here I'll zoom in so we can read along together. You can see for this project you're going to create a set of advertisements for Harley Davidson motorcycles. And so I'm giving you a brief description of who the company is. If you've never heard of Harley-Davidson or if you're not familiar with their branding, they have a very, very specific style that they like and they have a specific way of um, dealing with images and text and also promoting their products. So one of the first things I would suggest you do is get an idea of who the company is, visit their website, do a little research and marketing background on what kind of the, what, how the company looks and what kind of company they are. This is true for any project that we do. Now, the company is needing four advertisements for an upcoming mailer marketing campaign and they want to feature four of their newest motorcycle bikes. They're going to give you their performance information, their price, and each of these needs to have the product featured prominently. So essentially you're going to be creating four mailer postcards. Two of the ads need to be 4x7 portrait, meaning up and down uh, as being the, the tallest, and the other two need to be 7x4 landscape, which will be wider than, uh, than tall. I'm also going to give you some extra images that you can feel free to fit within your design however you see fit. The techniques that I want to see is I want you to remove the background from the product that I give you. I want you to select some display type and that you can put for the name of whatever product that you have. The type needs to be nice and eye-catching. It needs to be appropriate for your target audience. Think about this. I'm not telling you that these have to be motorcycles for men or they have to be motorcycles for retired people. What if you create an ad campaign specifically for women or specifically for teachers or specifically for college students? I'm going to leave that up to you. As long as you create something that fits the overall style and everything is nice and consistent, that's what I want to see for your designs. I also only want you to use colors in your designs that are pulled from the photograph. Now in my techniques video, I show you exactly how I do that. Going back to the Moodle page, if you click on the Add Project folder, you can download this folder and let me show you what I'm giving to you. We'll give it just a second. Now when you download the folder from Moodle, it will be given to you as a zip file. So you'll need to uncompress this file. Whoops, there we go. And inside the folder, I'm giving you a text file that has all the information about each of the bikes. So the name of the bike in this case is the CVO Breakout. 
They give you a little blurb or a call out for it. There's the price. Here's the performance information. And here's a little write up about it. So this is the information that needs to appear on each of the four advertisements. And I've given you four different bicycles, excuse me, <laughs> motorcycles, not bicycles. Finally, I'm also giving you the, uh, the product itself. Do pay attention to the name of the picture so that you can cut it out and put the appropriate text with the appropriate picture information. The last thing I'm going to give you is some extra images. And feel free to use these images wherever you see fit within your advertisement. I'm also, if you look at the top, giving you the logo both in color and in black and white. So you've got everything that you need to create your advertisements. You've got the text and the information about the performance, the price, and the name of the product. And you've also got the pictures. Your job is to pick and choose and to edit and call down to make an ad that fits on a 4 by 7 postcard. While we're talking about it, I will give you the ability to edit the text as you see fit, as long as the basic ideas still flow through and you're not changing up any of the important information, like don't change up the, the, uh, the price that they're giving. Obviously, you need to, uh, to have that on there. Going back to our advertisement design, <clears throat> The due date for this will be this coming Friday. Bear with me a second. Let me pull up my calendar just so I make sure I tell you. Actually, if I scroll to the very top here, you can see on our tentative schedule that this unit is going to end on January the 14th. So the due date for this one will be by midnight on January the 14th. You're going to be turning in your four different advertisements. I'll scroll back down here. And you can do that by clicking on the Harley Davidson ads at the very bottom and uploading all four of your designs to this. When you create your designs, be sure to save them either as a PDF or export it as a JPEG. It depends on what software you're working in and how you can save those up. So make sure either one of those is what you're going to upload and turn into this. The final thing I'll point out is if you want me to give you feedback on the design work that you're working on, try to submit something by Wednesday morning or by Wednesday at 12 o'clock. Wednesday, I have a dedicated time set aside to do a critique of my students' work. So if by 12 o'clock noon on Wednesday, you submit anything that you have, I'll look at your design and give you my thoughts and opinions on it. Otherwise, if you want me to give you my feedback and critique on your work before the due date, email me and let me know and I'll try to get it back to you as soon as possible. Usually when I do critiques, I like to record a video and go through the project as I see it. But Wednesday tends to be the best time for your class that I've set aside. All right, so that's going to be the start for this particular project. As always, if you have any problems or questions on how to get started, let me know, and then we'll go from here. I look forward to seeing what you're going to work through.